In this video we'll briefly discuss what is amitriptyline, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Amitriptyline is an antidepressant, belongs to a category of drugs called tricyclic antidepressants. It inhibits presynaptic reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin in CNS. It is available as 10 mg, 25 and 50, 75 and 100 and 150 mg tablets. And also available as injection. Amitriptyline is used for depression. And the usual initial dosage for outpatients is 75 mg per day, in divided doses. This may be increased to 150 mg per day if needed. The maintenance dose is 40 to 100 mg per day. And the maximum dose is 150 mg per day. And the usual initial dosage for hospitalized patients is 100 mg per day. The maintenance dose is 40 to 100 mg as a single dose at bedtime. And the maximum dose is 300 mg per day. The usual dosage for adolescent and elderly patients is 10 mg 3 times a day, and 20 mg once a day at bedtime. The full therapeutic effect may take as long as 30 days to develop. Dose should be titrated over 2 weeks to 1 month, and the minimum duration of the treatment is 6 months. And the treatment should be discontinued gradually over 4 weeks, to lessen the possibility of relapse. Amitriptyline is contraindicated in case of hypersensitivity to tricyclic antidepressants, acute recovery from myocardial infarction, and concurrent use of malinhibitor. It should be used with caution in patients with epilepsy, angle closure glaucoma, cardiovascular disease, history of urinary retention, suicidal tendencies, benign prostatic hypertrophy, concurrent use of an anticholinergic drugs, hyperthyroid patients, receiving thyroid drugs, alcoholism, and schizophrenia. Common side effects include, sedation, anticholinergic effects, such as dry mouth and constipation. Side effects also include nausea, dizziness and headache, taste disturbance, and weight gain. It may also cause orthostatic hypotension, arrhythmias, extrapyramidal symptoms, seizures, bone marrow depression, hepatitis, increased intraocular pressure, and allergic reactions. Avoid alcohol and other CNS depressants, such as opiate analgesics and sedatives when taking this drug. Avoid driving and other activities requiring mental alertness, or that are potentially dangerous until response to drug is known. Change position slowly, in particular from recumbent to upright to minimize orthostatic hypotension. If mouth is dry, rinse with warm water frequently. Chew sugarless gum or suck on ice cube. Or use artificial saliva. If constipation develops try to increase your intake of fiber and fluid. And notify your physician if constipation is severe. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one. And also check our recommended products in the description.